Alright guys, Monkey here. What a fucking crack we use. Anyway, so, today it's my 69th video, so I'm gonna try and do a little special one. Because 69, you know, it's, it's a very special number for me. <laughs> anyway, you know, and uh, hopefully after you listen to this video, you should be able to get some 69 of your own. Yo-ho. Anyway, so, it's basically my guide on how to pick up girls. Fucking yeah, bitches. You, you just want to know about it, don't you? Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, so. Step one. You need to set your sights on a reasonable target, alright? Now, the number system, it's it's great for this. Alright, so if you think you look like a horse's backside, then you can categorize yourself as like a 1 to 3 sit. Then, if you think, you know, you're slightly better looking than Shrek, then you're a 4 to 5. But if you just think you're an average kind of Joe, then you're six to seven, right? But if you have like that really nice smile, that great hair, nice body, you're an eight to nine, right? But if you, if you're the Taylor Lautner of the generation, you're a fucking solid ten. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> and no, I'm not gay, but you know you have to admire Taylor's solid physique, right? Uh, that did sound a bit gay, mm. but anyway, yeah, so, now that you know what kind of number you are, you know, try and go for a girl who's the same number as you, or maybe a number or two below you, right, because they're the ones that you're going to have the best chance with to begin with, don't worry, you know, later I will go into how you can pick up girls much harder than yourself, but anyway, so, that's step one, set your sights, on a reasonable target. Pretty simple, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I thought. Step two. You actually have to make contact with the alien species here. It can be hard at times, but, you know, you'll get over it. Right, so, I bet you have your eyes set on that one chick who has that ghetto booty and, you know, tits like fucking Pamela Anderson. Yeah? Yeah? No. Nah. Go back. To fucking step one, boy. You're, you're not getting that chick yet. Just go back to step one. Anyway. So, you now have the uh, lucky number seven on your radar, don't you? You just need to figure out how you're going to talk to her. Do you already know her? If, if you already know her, you probably have her on Facebook, yeah? Alright. Just give her a little private message. Nothing too complicated there. Just give her a little private message, right? Although, make sure that she is online when you do this. Because if she's not online, she will know right off that you searched for her and you messaged her while she was offline. So you actually had to go onto her page, etc, etc. Right? And that will just be the biggest giveaway ever that you're actually interested. And you don't want her to know that yet. So you start off with some small chat, you know, like, uh, what are you up to later? What's your plans for the weekend? You know, anything like that. Because that will just get the icebreakers right out there. And, based on her answer to them, you know, you can you can make more conversation out of it. Like, she could say, uh, just, just go on to cinema later, you know, something like that. Just go on to cinema later, and then you can say, uh, whatever movie it is, like, oh, I really wanted to go see that. Or, you know, just something along those lines. Like, it's, it's not really that hard to make more conversation. Like, you, you could say... I really want to go see that, uh, can you, sure, just let me know what it's like. And, you know, you can just keep on going back and forth, you know, with these little small conversations, you know, like, every other day, something like that. And if she's replying back to you, and she's doing it quickly, you know, like, it's not taking her hours at a time to actually reply back, then you, my friend, you're right in there. She finds you interesting, so she does. Well, that's out of my experience, I know. However, you know, if she if she does take hours to reply back, and she's not really seeming that interested, just back the fuck off, right? You just need to back the fuck off. She, it's gonna go nowhere for you. Just find another girl, go back to step one. It's not that difficult. So, so you striked out, who cares? You didn't even try anything, yeah? Right. Now, if you don't know the girl you're thinking about hooking up with, it does get slightly harder. 
okay? And the fact that you're going to need some major fucking balls to go up to her and say hey. Seems quite easy when you say it, doesn't it? When you go down to it, it's not that easy. Now, I don't really have any set method on how you should actually go about this. As you know, situations whenever you're out, they change all the time. But the easiest way I've found it, you know, is if you're in a shop and there's a long line and she's, you know, standing right beside you, you could just say something like, uh, I hate how long this line is. And then, you know, she would usually tend to agree with you. Because, like, hey, who likes waiting in lines? No one? No, I don't think so. And then, you could just ask her, uh, so, are you from round about here? And then, you know, just continue on until you have to leave and just say, uh, it's been great talking to you, maybe we should do this again sometime, and then just get her number. It's quite fucking simple. It's, like, if she says, yeah, you know, you know you're in there. But if not, well, who cares, it's just some random chick you just met. Right? Plenty more fish in the sea. Right, so, that's step two. You actually have to make contact with her, you know, you have to talk to her. Now we're moving on to step three. Inviting her out. Right, now this is actually quite simple, because by now, you know, you've been talking to her for a while. You should know her at least a little bit, yeah? And the, the question of, like, uh, I wonder if he's going to ask me out, has been going through her mind. I'm not lying to you, it has been. Because that's the first thing, you see whenever a guy talks to a girl, the first thing she thinks is, uh, oh, what's he after? Does he want to date me? Something like that. Blah, blah, blah. Okay? And, alright. So all you have to do here is send her a text message, a text or a private message saying, uh, along the lines of, do you fancy going for some coffee later? You know, I'm bored. Or a milkshake. It all really depends on what age you are. Like, if you're still in early high school, you probably don't drink coffee. So milkshake, milkshake, you know, it's a good alternative. Everyone likes milkshakes. And there's only like three ways she can actually respond to you. She could say, yeah, sure, in which case you go ahead and set this bitch up. Set this bitch up to fucking, you know, get out there with you. Or uh, she could say, I'm actually quite busy later some other time though, which means that, you know, it could just mean what it says, that she's busy, or it could just mean that uh, she's not sure if she likes you or not yet. So you don't really want to push her, just keep going through step two for a bit, and then try step three again if you're really interested. Okay, and uh, then there's, you know, the third reply, which is, you know, it's probably the worst response you could probably get. Like, ever. She just probably, you know, she just completely blanks you. And you don't hear from her. And, you know, it's pretty self explanatory here. She's not interested, right? So you just have to go back to step one. Don't get too down hard. Fucking simple as pie, right? So that was step three. You go out and you. You invite her out somewhere, yeah? Now, step four. Step four is a good one. I like step four. Making a fucking move. Right, so, you've met up with her, things went well, you know, she was, uh, she was smiling, laughing all the time, and there wasn't any long awkward silences, because every fucker hates them long awkward silences. Long awkward silences are only good if you have been, you know, you've known her for a while, and, you know, you're comfortable with it. But if it's a long silence, t usually, if you've just met each other, it's awkward. Alright? So you're probably thinking here, uh, should I make a move or not? Should I? Uh, does she want me to? You know, something along those lines. And this one, it it is actually completely up to yourself. Like, you know, when you make a move, some girls, they won't even kiss you the first time of meeting, and then some would ride you till tomorrow. <laughs> so it, it, it's really up to you to decide, like, what kind of girl is she? Is she a goody two shoes Catholic girl? Then you probably don't want to make the move, the move yet. Although if she's known as a town bike, then sure, why not just stick your fingers right fucking in there? Who cares? <laughs> Only joking. Or was I? <laughs> anyway, the, the indications that she wants to kiss you, you know, it's pretty fucking obvious. She, she'll still be smiling a lot. She'll be looking up, looking up at you. 
being all fidgety, you know, touching her hair, you know, not staying at peace. And then, you know, when the time comes for you to depart, just basically go in for the hug. Like, you know, you deserve a hug at least. So just go in for the hug and study very carefully what her action is. Like, if after it she, she just sits, stares into your eyes and doesn't really say anything, then, you know, plant one on her. Just plant one right in the fucking lips. However, you know, if she breaks the hug really quickly and just turns to say this has been really fun or something like that, then time's not right yet. Try whenever you next year. But if they but if after like say the fifth or sixth time of meeting and you still haven't got as much as a peck on the cheek, then you my friend, you have been friend zoned. And my advice is to get out of there ASAP. Just start ignoring her completely. When she texts, don't text back. You need to let this bitch know who's the fucking boss and not the fuck with you, alright? So that's step four. You've made the move, right? So, now, you know, you've basically got the first kiss down the T, and I have successfully helped you pick up a chick. Now, you really want to know how to pick up a hot girl, don't you? Well, that's easy. You basically know all the steps here now, you know how to pick up a girl, like, say, an average girl. You just really want to go for this super hot one, yeah? You just need loads and loads of confidence. Keep using these steps on, like, say it's girls which are seven, which are an eight. Just gradually work your way up. Because soon, you will see, you know, with every new girl, you know, you're slightly working your way up. They're slightly getting more hotter, you know, bigger tits, blah, blah, fucking blah. You just work your way up like that, and soon enough, you will get that fucking ten. So you will, you will get that 10. Don't you worry about that, my son. You will get her. One of these days, you will. Alright? But, you know, you would soon... You could get a different girl every week now. See, so good. So, basically, follow the fucking steps. Alright? Follow the steps, and you're in there. So, set your sights on the girl, you know, who you know you have a reasonable chance of getting with. And then, you make contact with that girl. Then you invite her out. And then, after a couple of times you invite her out, you make your fucking move. And you're in there. That's it. That's it done. Alright? That is it done. Anyway. So, I'm not even too sure how long this has been. It's probably been a while. But, thanks very much for listening to me, guys. This has been my 69th vid special. And I shall catch you guys later.